This tutorial is to help you to create a financial model in Google Sheets using the geometric sequence formula, which can be also called the principal formula based on interest, PT equals P0 into 1 plus R to the power T. Here, PT refers to the principal remaining at the end of time T or the final value. P0 is the initial principal or initial value. T is the time elapsed and R is the rate of interest. Note that you need to write R based on the unit of T. So if you consider T in months and the rate of interest is given in terms of per year, then you divide that rate of interest by 12 to get it per month. Let's go with the first instruction. Set up a table as shown on the top left corner. Set up the table exactly like it's shown here in terms of initial amount invested, interest rate per year, years of investment and future value of investment. We leave this fourth cell blank because it's going to be filled in with the next instruction. Number two, write a formula to compute the future value of investment based on the data inputted. Now we'll use this formula down here to compute what should come into this cell. So you're trying to find out PT for the cell given the P0, which is 100, and the R, which is 0.05, and T, which is 3. To type the formula in, we start with equal to, we reference P0, which is 100, times open brackets, 1 plus R. So R is this value, close the bracket, to the power, hit 3, which is the rate of, uh, which is years of investment, and then hit enter, you get this value for that you get this value for the future value of investment. Now let's go to instruction three. Enter the first month, 1, 2021, and use the method to autofill in months 1 to 36. So I'm going to type in here 1, 2021. In order to autofill up to the month 36, we need to establish a pattern. And so I'm going to type in 2, 2021 to start with to establish what pattern we expect. It's a pattern with an increase of one month each time. Now select both those cells, come to the bottom right corner, click and drag downwards. And I have selected exactly 36 cells and so it pre-fills up to that point. To check this actually, it would be better if you type in a number here and just number it one to 36. So once again, start with one. You can autofill very easily. So click on the cell, come to the bottom right corner. Now this time, because you have only one cell that you want to you know, autofill, you need to hold down the control or the command button and click and drag downwards. And you see it autofills. And I had done this before. So the last cell is 36 as we require. The fourth instruction is to write a formula to copy the initial amount in the first month. So this amount here needs to be copied into the first month here. This is very simple. Simply type an equal to sign, click on this cell that you want to reference, hit enter, and whatever value is here, you can even change that if you like, then the same value appears in the monthly value here. Okay, let's change this back to 100. Now the next instruction or the last one is to write a formula to determine the monthly value from the first month to the 36th month. So to do that, we'll click in this cell and we'll reference this principle and this rate of interest with a time period of one month to compute the interest at the end of, uh, of the first month. Okay, and so we reference this, so we start with equal to, we hit this, times one plus r, so r is this value. And remember, because we're considering monthly interest, you need to divide the r value by 12. Close brackets, raise that to the power one, because you're considering the interest for just one month at a time. Hit enter. Okay, so that gives you the interest after one month has elapsed. 
Okay. Now, even though this is showing number two, what it really means is at the beginning of the second month, uh, that's the amount that I have in my account. So I'm going to try now and drag this formula down by a few cells and see if it works. It, it seems like it's giving me some odd values, very high values which don't seem to be suitable. So I'm going to delete those values that I just dragged onwards and check my formula again here. I may, need to make sure that I'm referencing uh, the cells correctly when I drag downwards. For example, cells that I do not want to have changed when I drag downwards, I need to reference them absolutely by using a dollar symbol. Now, in, in this formula, F2, which is the initial principle, needs to be referenced relatively, which means as you drag downwards, you want the formula to look in the previous cell for the initial principle. And so F2 should be referenced relatively, but not B2, because B2 is just one value, and it doesn't change as you go down the, uh, this, uh, the, down the series over here. So we'll reference B2 absolutely, simply by putting a dollar symbol in between B and 2. Now hit enter. That interest is correct for the first month, but let's copy this down to all the cells and see if it looks correct. Okay, so this looks reasonable. At 5% per year, which means 5% by 12 per month, the interest looks reasonable. You can also cross verify this because at the end of 36 months, which is three years, you get 115.7 and that's the same as you have here, 115.76. And so this is a method that uses uses the, the interest formula pt equals p0 times 1 plus r plus t to compute the interest per month for a given number of months using the compound interest option.